Honor your endings. March 30, 2014. Endings of anything can be difficult. But ending of anything does not have to be viewed as sad. Whenever a new ending is presented, that is your indicator that something new is on the horizon. Learning to let go of what has said goodbye, ended, or changed in a way that there's no turning back, all holds important life-changing lessons that can be viewed with discord depending on your mind frame, but they can also be viewed with optimism because you have reached a turning point in your life, where new is coming for you to embrace. We understand how frightening it can be to say hello to anything new, especially when you had to say goodbye to an ending, but try to keep in mind that each new beginning you embrace is also a new way that has the opportunity for exciting changes, and all new beginnings are truly beautiful. Letting go to what you have become used to is something that requires an adjustment in your thinking. When you say goodbye to an old job, a former city, school friends, loved ones, or saying goodbye to a self-destructive behavior, or way of living, maybe you are starting a new job in a new city, going to a new class or course that is away from the friends you have bonded with, possibly a loved one has completed their physical life, or you have adopted a new, fresher perspective on life that is not harmful to you or others, whatever the changes are, they are life-changing. You have come to an end, and with every end there is always something new. Unfortunately dear ones, you cannot start anything new, while hanging on to what is old and be successful. Don't fear the new. You have experienced what you needed to learn from all that has been faced already. Don't let old situations, events or anything else prevent you from reaching new heights of living and from embracing a new way of being. Change is important to your development and growth, not just spiritually speaking but for your personal well-being as well. Sometimes what we witness is that many dear souls forego the farewells to what is being left behind, replaced, or changed because they are too busy focusing on the newness of what is before them. We encourage each of you to honor what came before the new by remembering the good that is associated with the old job, school friends, past loved one, old way of being, or any other thing that you are saying goodbye to. By allowing yourself to acknowledge your sadness and of the joy that goes with each passing of old and new, you are bringing what you loved and the knowledge you learned from the lessons each held for you into your new beginnings. Of course there are some circumstances that endings are instigated by you, and they come this way because you have come to certain conclusions on what is best for your mental and emotional health, regardless how an ending came to be, they happen when they are meant to. If you take a look at nature, you see that she also changes from season to season, and within those seasons are storms and passing of old to new. This is very similar to what happens with you when it comes to endings and new beginnings. An old season lets go, and sometimes the old lets go by dying, or from sudden disruptions that come through disagreements, or just from other changes that are just as life-changing, but each one brings you to a new season. Storms also bring in change. It is up to you to view each passing and change in your life with optimism or to become pessimistic, but we encourage you to see the good that is also shining brightly in front of every ending. Sometimes endings come abruptly, and you might feel you are not ready for the new yet, but when you are mentally and emotionally ready, you will open yourself to the new by allowing yourself to let go. By letting go of the past that was preventing you from growing and developing you are allowing what is meant to be to unfold. You are trusting from your heart that what is before you is good, even if you are a little frightened. Remember dear ones, beginnings and ending are not merely just black and white. Even if you are simply changing an old job for a new one, within that change there could be changes in your relationships as well. Sometimes small endings and new beginnings come into effect during a life-changing experience. Be aware and pay attention dear ones. Let the endings of your endings lead you to newer and better ways. It is important when you are embracing the new beginning, that you become curious on how to make it work that is fresh, try not to bring your old way from what you have ended into what is beginning. If you are taking on a new job, try not to do the new job the way you did your former job, pick up some new ways that are effective, and help to promote your job performance. Discover joy and happiness in the process of bringing new ways into your new beginnings. 
feelings are a big part of you. Sometimes going into new directions and new beginnings can make you feel uncomfortable. Don't disregard these feelings, they are yours, you own them. Therefore it is imperative to understand the root of their cause. Discuss your discomfort with a trusted friend if it makes you feel better. Don't hinder the progress of your new beginning by not thoroughly ending what was in the past. Each new beginning you undertake and embrace, you are filling with your energy. Honor yourself by taking on your new beginning with your whole self, leaving nothing behind in the past. You may find it necessary to give a private burial to what you are leaving behind, the same way you do when someone close to you passes away. Finding the best way to bring closure to an end is all individual, and we trust you will do what is best for you. Then when you are done you are completely ready, mind, body, heart and spirit to bring in any new beginning with enthusiastic vivacity. Remember dear ones, you may try as hard as you can to stop time, but in truth time keeps moving on. All things come to pass as they are meant to. What you can do while you are in the process of letting your endings go in order to make room for new beginnings is to find room to pause and rest. What you do during this rest period is mainly about self-healing. Finding time for quiet solitude will help refresh your thinking, bring clarity to worries, and allow yourself to relax fully before your new beginnings arrive. This you can do, and by allowing yourself to pause and rest you are giving yourself a gift of tender loving care that will go a long way as you step forward into the new and exciting directions and new beginnings that life has in store for you. I am Melchizedek through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com